Hi yogis! Welcome to 15 minutes yoga flow for spine. I'm Mingwei and in today's class we'll practice a series of movements and posture to keep the spine healthy and flexible. So let's get started in a child's pose. Bring the thighs together, knees together, big toes touch at the back. Slowly walk your hands forward, rest the ribcage on your thighs, forehead to the mat. Take five deep breaths here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, expand the chest. Exhale, release the air. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, feel your chest, feel your belly pressing into your thighs. Exhale, empty your lungs. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Gently lift the forehead. We're coming to a cow pose tilt. So tilt the tailbone up and gaze up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, round the back and send the hips back towards your heels. Come back into a child's pose. Inhale. Cow pose, gaze up towards the ceiling. Exhale, round the back, chin to your chest, and send the hips back. Three more times. Inhale, arch the back, chest down, gaze up. Exhale, round, belly button in towards your spine, chin towards your chest. Inhale, come forward, lengthen the spine. Exhale, round and back one more inhale exhale round and back inhale come up to a neutral tabletop position adjust your palms and your knees knees are hip distance apart palms are shoulder distance apart now extend your right arm forward left leg back find your balance here now as you exhale, bring the knee to elbow, round the spine. As you inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Two more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch in. Inhale. Exhale, round. Now inhale, lengthen. Bend the knee, bend the elbow. Use your right arm to catch hold of the left ankle. As you inhale, kick the foot up, pull the foot up towards the ceiling. Five, four, three, two, and one. Gently release the back foot. Now place the right palm down, but step the left foot over to the right outside of the mat now send the hips to the left gaze towards the right look towards the back toes feel the stretch in the left side of your spine keep the spine long back is flat and neutral inhale back to center left knee to the ground inhale right leg straight left arm forward make sure you do not lift your right hip up like that. Keep both hips parallel to the ground. Now exhale, round the back, lift the knee up towards the chest, and inhale, extend. Exhale, knee as high up as you can. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Inhale, last one, exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Place, uh, bring your left arm behind, catch hold of your back ankle. Inhale, kick the foot up, pull the foot up. You feel the stretch in your left shoulder as well. Keep the chest up, try not to gaze down to the ground, gaze forward. And one, 
gently release left palm to the ground right foot over to the left keep the right leg straight here send the hips to the right and gaze towards the left gaze towards the back foot feel the stretch all the way from the right hip all the way up to the right torso and one inhale back to center place the right knee to the ground now inhale we'll come up into a downward facing dog now stay in downward dog for five deep breaths send the heels towards the ground straighten the legs if you can if your hamstrings are a little bit tight then keep it slightly bent Send the chest back towards the thighs. Open up the shoulders. Keep the lower belly in. Focus on your breath. Inhale, we'll come into a high plank position. And as we exhale, we'll go into an upward facing dog. So flip the toes, point the toes back, send the hips down and lift the chest now your thighs knees are all lifted off the ground open up the chest shoulders away from your ears three two and one downward facing dog roll over the toes bring the heels to the ground inhale bring the right leg back and up exhale bring the right foot in between your palms inhale come into a crescent lunge and as we exhale, we're going to a twisted crescent. So bring your palms to heart center. Bring your left elbow towards the outside of the right knee. Hook it there. Rotate the chest so that your palms come to your heart center. Keep the back leg straight. Three, two, and one. Now, inhale. We'll extend the arm and slowly come into a twisted crescent. Now both arms are parallel to the ground, chest towards the right wall. Now we'll continue back. Bring the right palm towards your left leg. Inhale, open up the chest, left arm up towards the back wall if you can. Chest up towards the ceiling. Three, two, and one good job now both palms to the ground high plank position exhale chaturanga shoulders forward and down inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog inhale to the left side left leg back and up exhale bring the left foot between your palms high crescent inhale lift both arms up your arms beside your ears. Exhale, bring both palms to your heart center. Rotate to the left this time. Right elbow outside of the left knee. Now try to use your elbow to push and rotate your entire spine, your entire body, chest towards the left. Come to your heart center. Now as we inhale, we'll open up the arm. Bring the arms parallel to the ground. Chest facing to the left and exhale left palm to the right tie right arm up and back open up the chest three find your balance two calm your breath one and exhale bring both palms to the ground high plank position exhale chaturanga inhale Upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Stay in down dog for three breaths, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. Now, gaze forward between your palms. Walk your feet towards the front of your mat. 
drawing the feet together big toes touch as you exhale bend the knees sit your hips down into a chair pose inhale lift both arms up arms beside your ears exhale twisting chair bring your palms to heart center rotate to the right left elbow outside of the right knee again use your palms use your elbows to help you to rotate deeply three Try to keep both knees together. Pull the left knee back a little bit. And one. Inhale, back to chair pose. Exhale, on the other side. Palms to your heart center. Right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Inhale, rotate deeply. If you can find your balance, then slowly bring your gaze up towards the ceiling. Three. Two and one. Bring both palms to the ground. Inhale, straighten both legs. Exhale, forward fold. All right, slowly come down to your belly to the ground. Step your feet back and send your front body to the ground. Relax here. Now, next pose we are going to go into is locust pose. So extend the legs straight behind. Bring your arms behind, interlace your fingers. Now as we inhale, we'll lift the chest only. So we'll lift the chest up, straighten the arms, roll the shoulders back, and pull the knuckles away from your butt. Stay here for five. For strengthen the upper body here. You feel your upper back working, all your back muscles working to lift yourself up here. And one, exhale, take a break. We can bring both palms in front of you, one palm on top of another, and then rest your forehead down. All right, we'll try one more time, locust pose. This time, will lift the thighs off the mat as well. Interlace your finger with the other thumb on top, right, the outward side. Now as we inhale, we'll lift the chest, lift the arms away from your body, and lift the thighs off the ground. Stay here again for five. Hold as high up as you can. Four, reach the fingertips behind, reach the knuckles towards the back wall. Three, Two, and one, exhale, all the way down. Again, both palms together, forehead onto the back of your palms. Take a break. Calm your breath, calm your heartbeat. Now one more pose here. We'll do the bow pose. Bend the knees. Bring both your hands to the outside of the ankles. Now as we inhale, we'll lift the chest. Again, you kick your foot into your palms. Lift the thighs off the ground. Lift the chest off the ground as high as you can. Five. Four. Three. Two. And release. Again, bring the forehead to the back of your palms and breathe. Now simply roll over to your back. We'll do the final spinal twisting pose here. Bring the right knee into your chest. Thighs touching your rib cage. Hug it in as close as you can. And as you exhale, your left hand will catch the right knee. Draw it all the way to the left. Extend the right arm out to the right. Gaze towards the right fingertips. Slow down your breath. Make it gentle. Try to keep your right shoulder on the ground. It doesn't matter if you're Right knee doesn't touch the ground, but make sure your right shoulder touches the ground. Inhale, back to center. 
Exhale, we switch legs, left knee into your chest. Exhale, draw the left knee over to the right, extend the left arm up, gaze towards the left fingertips. Again, slow down your breath. You can close your eyes and relax. Now inhale, back to center, hug both knees in. But roll the spine a few times to massage. Inhale, roll up, exhale, roll back. Do it for five times. And in the last one, come all the way up to a seated position. Now, thank you for joining me for class today. I'm Mingwei, and I'll see you on your mat next time. Namaste.